reflecting on the uh, autocephaly of the Orthodox Church in America, and I don't mean a formal reflection, uh, because the autocephaly is simply an expression of the life of the Orthodox Church in America, an affirmation that we have our identity, and the identity is in America, and it's an Orthodox identity. Uh, but still, reflecting on the meaning of the Tomos of 1970, which uh, granted uh, autocephaly to the Orthodox Church in America by the Russian Orthodox Church, uh, it's interesting that, that the document appropriately uh, emphasizes the internal reality of the Orthodox Church in America, its self-government, its mission, its missionary task, uh, its uh, rights as an autocephalous church for electing its own primate, for electing its bishops, and so on. Uh, that is very much there. Uh, there is also there uh, the thought that this Orthodox Church in America, autocephalous, uh, naturally must develop uh, and maintain and protect good relations with the other Orthodox churches, meaning not only those who are global, who are in other parts of the world, but meaning the Orthodox who are here, who are neighbors and, and uh, friends of the Orthodox Church in America people. And that's a very important thought because the pluralism of Orthodoxy in America is real uh, and there have been some achievements uh, for the sake of Orthodoxy uh, that have been uh, achievements uh, not of the OCA but achievements of the Greek Orthodox Archdiocese which represents the Ecumenical Patriarchate here the achievements of the Antiochian Archdiocese, Patriarchate of Antioch, the Romanian Church, the Serbian Church, and so on. Uh, and certainly we have all worked together uh, on Orthodox witness in American society. Uh, all of these churches, certainly the OCA, probably first of all, but all the others too have converts in them, uh, not long ago, a, a sociologist did a study in the western United States of two or three jurisdictions and found that in the parishes of the OCA, the Orthodox Church in America, 51% of the people were converts. I was surprised that it was so high, but I knew it would be very high. I was completely stunned when the study showed that 28% of the Greek Orthodox Archdiocese parishes in the western part of the United States are converts. The laity are converts. That means that, that we all have done a missionary work and we need to build a, a future of orthodoxy together. The Orthodox Church in America has a focus and a sharpened vision of this future as being a united Orthodox Church in the North American continent. Uh, the others have a much weaker perception of that. Uh, I like to refer to a kind of paradox that this autocephalous Orthodox Church in America uh, is conscious that at some point it will choose to die as Orthodox Church in America for the sake of building a new and completely united Orthodoxy in America with all the others. At this stage, I have to say that the jurisdictions of the various patriarchates, Constantinople, uh, even Moscow is still present here, um, Romania, Serbia, Antioch, uh, I suspect that many in those jurisdictions think of themselves as being certainly eternal. Uh, there will never be any need to die because they are patriarchal. So we are still far from achieving the desired end, uh, the desired goal rather, of uh, orthodoxy in America. Uh, but the Orthodox Church in America has to remain as a very steady and very friendly, uh, but very insistent uh, witness uh, to the unity of the Orthodox in America, which must find its expression 
in a completely united uh, and autocephalous Orthodox Church in North America, which would be larger than the OCA, which would be more inclusive than the OCA, uh, and that would be, uh, 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 in the end, a better witness to Orthodoxy than the Orthodox Church in America can be uh, alone. Uh, so it's a paradox. On the one hand, we are obliged and must accept the burden of building our life, uh, being faithful to our autocephaly, uh, and uh, uh, and yet be very conscious of the need in humility to to be together with the other Orthodox uh, and to to build a future uh, slowly but together with one another. Christos.